Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my September book haul. Even though I've already done a mid-September book haul. Yes, yes I have already filmed the September book haul. It was in the middle of September. It is now the end of September. My goal was to only buy 10 books. <laughs> and uh, over the course of the month, I did really well, and through the first three quarters of the month, I only bought four books, and I did put those in the other book haul. Then the book buying apocalypse happened. Technically, I bought those four books, and I have nine books that I bought in this haul, but there are like six, twelve, I think there's like, oh my god, there's like twelve books that I didn't buy for myself and that I was given and um yeah the first four books you've obviously already seen which was The Kiss of Deception um the second book in the summer I turned pretty series Ready Player One and Shatter Me and now I'm going to show you the books that I bought a couple of days ago when I was in Toronto with my mom and the books that I was given this month the first six books I got from my mom's friend, they were going through their bookshelf and said they were never going to read them, so they were going to give them to me, and so I'm not sure what they were, like, they're called select editions, and there's, like, bonus stories, and basically each book has four books in it. Like, this one has Bad Blood, The Long Walk Home, The Blue Zone, and Iris and Ruby, um... There are a couple Nicholas Sparks books in here, too. Um, other than that, I don't really know any of the other authors, and a lot of them are mysteries, so I'm not really into mystery, but I, I took the books because I wanted to be nice, and I knew there were a couple of books in here that sounded interesting, so I'm going to try and read some of them. If I don't read all of them, that's okay. I know my mom will read some of them. And so, yeah. The next six books I also did not buy... Tyler got them for me, and uh, I wasn't expecting them at all. He ended up coming over on Saturday, and earlier in the day, he had messaged me and asked me if I liked Danielle Steele, and I said, well, I, I'm not sure if I do. I know my mom does, and so I, I didn't think anything of it, but then when he came over, he was carrying a bag, and I'm like, what's in there? And he's just like, I don't know how good of condition they're in, but I got you books, and I'm like, you bought me books for no reason and he's like yeah and I'm like the way to my heart you know it like he oh, he is so uh, I love him and so I ended up with six new new ish Danielle Steele books because he went garage sailing first one is remembrance the second one is silent honor the third is summer's end and this has one of those like funny looking Fabio covers kind of. It's like got a, a couple and they're like making out on the side of a pond or, or a lake. See? And Indy, you just nudged my <laughs> my camera stand. Are you having fun? She's laying right under the camera stand. And she's like pulling herself across my carpet. The fourth one is Palomino. And this one actually has one of those funny covers too. Where it's like the guy and the girl are on a horse. And it these kind of covers just make me laugh. It's like those Fabio high fantasy type stories that like older people read. Like that's what it reminds me of. The fifth one is Family Album. And the sixth one is The Ghost. And um... This one has a little bit of, like, scratching and chunks out of it up here in the corner on the, like, the dust jacket. But that's the only thing that's wrong with it. The book is in, like, perfect condition other than that. So, I'm, I'm excited. My mom said that The Ghost and I think it was Silent Honor are her favorites out of the ones that he's gotten me. And, um, she said once you read them that you're gonna, like, get hooked to her, and you're gonna want to read more of her, and so I'm like, okay, I'll read them eventually. I got a lot of books to read now. <laughs> a lot. So out of the next nine books, I bought four. And what happened was, me, when me and my mom were in Toronto, I said I wanted to go to the Chapters by our hotel. 
And she was like, okay, do you know what you're getting? And I said, yes, I want to get the second and third book in the Shatter Me series. Because I finished Shatter Me, which will be in my wrap-up. And I wanted to get the second and third one so I could finish the series. So we got to chapters, and I asked the one person for help. And she was like, okay, we're going to go find them. And we went to go find them, and they only had the third one. And I was like, I'm not getting just the third one. I need the second one before the third one. So I can wait and get it at home. So because I didn't get the two books in the Shatter Me series, I picked up a couple other books that turned into getting... Six. Six? Five, six? A chapters? Six. Six. No. Yes. Yes. Six. The first book I actually bought for myself, and that was the second bind-up in the Lux series, which has Opal and Origin and Indies at my feet. Um, they're by Jennifer L. Armentrout, and I picked these up because at the time I was like halfway, no, three quarters of the way through the first book, and I was about to start the second book, like, once I finished the first book, and I wanted to be in the safe zone so that when I was, like, if I finished the second book while I was up there, I could get into the third book, and, uh, so now I have the third or fourth book, and I'm probably gonna have to pick up Opposition soon, like, really soon. <laughs> The next book I picked up was One Man Guy by Michael Berkiva? Kiva? Kiva? Yep. Um, <laughs> I was drawn to this book by the cover originally, and then I started reading the inside cover, like the, the description, and it sounded really interesting and cute, and I was like, maybe it'll be like Aristotle and Dante, even though I haven't finished that book yet. I probably should have by now, but I haven't. But I was, I'm hoping that it's something like that because, I don't know, it just sounded really interesting and I was really tempted to get it, so I got it. The next book I got, I'm so excited that I finally own, and it is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. And I have been wanting this book for so, so long. And I don't know, I, I know why I haven't gotten it. Like, because it's a $20 book, because it's the hardcover. And they don't have it in soft cover. And I've been like prolonging getting it just because it's been like a $20 book. But now I have it and now I can read it and then I can go pick up the Infinite Sea because that just came out. I'm really excited to read this book and I will probably be reading this in the month of October. I don't have a doubt in my mind that I'm going to get to this in October. The next two books are the books that my mom got me while we were at Chapter. The first one is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton and this is like one of the older Books. It's I, I don't know if you'd consider this a classic. Is it a classic? I'm guessing it's a classic. Like, it's not like a Gatsby classic or anything, but it's like an older classic. I don't know where I'm going with this classic thing, but I'm, I've been wanting to get it for a while because I know it's my mom's favorite book. She liked reading it. My mom has this thing where she can't read books more than once because she knows what happens, and I don't know how she can do that. Like, I have to reread books. I love rereading books, but... She, I think she's reread this once, actually. So, she says she can't reread re re -read books, but I think she can. If she doesn't remember what happens, then she can. This book is her favorite, and she's been wanting me to read it for a while. She keeps telling me how good of a book it is, and I'm surprised I haven't read it yet. But I'm going to now, because I own it, and it's, it's like the small mass production one. I don't know if there's like another cover to it. I... I've seen this one a lot, but I'm, I'm excited because now I can read my mom's favorite, like, older book. The last book she got me at Chapters was Zack and Mia by A.J. Betts, and I read about this book first on Goodreads, and then I heard about it a little bit on BookTube, like, in the community. Um, I think Kat got this book this month, last book, or last book, last month, not sure, but... I, when I read it, I was like, oh, this kind of sounds like Tiffio's, but I'm hoping it's not exactly like Tiffio's. But I'm kind of hoping it is at the same time. Like, if this could be Tiffio's, but they don't die, that'd be great. That'd be so great. I'd love it. I'm hoping this lives up to the expectations that I have for it, because if it's anything like I expect it to be, it's going to be one of my top favorites that I've read this year. The next three books I got at an independently owned bookstore, and it's called Elliot's Bookshop. It's on Young Street, and I don't know if anybody's heard of that. I doubt it. 
But we went in there, and the main guy, he was so nice. He was just, like, the, the owner. He was just like, oh, you're a young reader. I don't see a lot of kids, like, your age reading. Like, I, they're all on their phones, and it's all about the gadgets and stuff like that. And nobody ever reads. Like, all the people that come into my bookshop are adults. And I'm like, well, hey, I'm a kid reader. Well, I'm not that, I'm not that young. I'm 17. Is that young? Do you consider that young? So he ended up giving me like a discount on mo on all of these books. It was like one of them was 14, one of them was 6, one of them was 7, and I paid less than $20 for all of them. My mom bought two and I bought one. So she paid 10, I paid less than 10. The first book that we got at the store my mom bought for me and it is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. <sighs> I didn't have a physical, like, a copy for myself. I have read it, and I've been wanting to collect the whole Harry Potter series, even if it's, like, in, uh, like, different, like, softback, hardback, softback, hardback sort of thing. Like, I just want to have a copy of all the books. So now I have the second, the third, the fourth, the sixth, and the seventh. So I need the first and the fifth to finish off the collection. And I think one... Only one of them. The fourth one is in soft cover. But I wanted a co I wanted a copy of The Prisoner of Azkaban because that this or The Goblet of Fire is probably my favorite of the ones that I have read. I've read the first five. So I got a copy now and I'm so excited to have it and put it on my shelf with the others. The next book is super heavy and very hard to hold with one hand. So I'm holding it with both and it is Under the Dome by Stephen King and I've I heard that the TV show oh god the TV show is shit but I heard that the books really good like when I was talking to the one woman at chapters the the helper lady she she was talking to me about sci-fi books and then this other girl who was like 20 something jumped in she's like do you like sci-fi and I'm like yeah um I don't mind it I haven't really read anything by it but if I were to jump into something, I would want to read something Stephen King, like Under the Dome. She's like, oh, that's a good book. So when I found this copy of it for $7, I was like, I'm getting it. I need it. Like, duh. His face looks so funny on the back cover, though. Like, oh, are you going to focus? Like, he looks like he's constipated. But I'm excited to read the book anyways. The last book actually has a funny little twist to it. We had actually left the store already. And I was like, Mom, I saw this book back there that I really want. But I didn't say anything because it was like a $14 book instead of like a $7 book. And I didn't think I was going to be able to get it. And she's like, well, go back and get it then. And I'm like, okay, I'm going back and getting it. And so I went back and I got it. And he actually knocked money off this one too and only made me pay 7 instead of 14 And it is the Arthur Rackham fairy book. It's old fairy tales with new illustrations by Arthur Rackham, obviously. And um, basically it it's like all the old fairy tales, but like there are ones that I haven't even heard of either. And uh, I, I was drawn to it by the cover. Because it has like the, the older pictures and then you look through it and you can see the ones where he's drawn right here. I don't know. There, I've always wanted a book like this. Like I have like older, bigger kitty books, but they weren't like actually like this. So I was really tempted to get this when we were there the first time. And then I went back and got it and I'm happy I have it now. Because I'll probably end up skimming through this and like reading certain stories at certain times like it'll be like my bedtime storybook. The last book in this book haul is a book that I got at the dollar store. It was like the last stop of our big walking spree down Young Street and I saw this book and I was like hey I know this author like not personally. I don't know an author personally. Well I know Eric Walters. That's that's kind of cool right? Um <laughs> but I don't know her personally. But I have one of her books, and I've read it, and I really liked it. And this is the first book in the series, so I was like, okay, I'm getting it. It's a buck fifty. Why not? And it is Earthbound by April Lynn Pike. And I have the second book in her Wings trilogy. I have Spells, and um, that's like a fairy trilogy. I think it's a trilogy. It might be a series. I don't know. 
But I have the second book, and I actually read that before the first book. I didn't even read the first book. It was kind of like, I understood the second book, but there were bits and pieces that I was missing. And I didn't know it was the second book until I finished it. So now I know that this is the first book in like another series that she wrote. So I'm, I'm good and I'm going to read it soon. I have a feeling in the month of October I'm going to be reading a lot of like fantasy and dystopian type stuff. Like, I don't know, it's just a feeling that I have. Like, I feel like I need to read these. So those were the 20, if you classify the bind up, like the Lux series bind up, um, two books, then it's 21 books that I got in the month of September. I thought I was doing good and then it was like as soon as I hit that third week of September I was like, nope, straight downhill. I have to make a, I have to stick to my goal next month you guys. I'm not going to buy any more than 10 to 12 books. 12 is the max, okay? Hold me to that, and if I do bad, bad Danny, bad. I lied. I said it was only like 21 books. I think I said it was 21, including the bind up. Um, but that's not including the four books that I had in my other book haul. <laughs> so it's 25 books. Oops. Oops. <laughs> With that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my god! I'm gonna fall. I can sense it. Oh my god! No, 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 This isn't gonna work! This thumbnail is going to... I can't even reach it! I can't even reach it! Oh my god! I'm gonna have to separate it into two. No! Thumbnail. It didn't happen. <laughs> he fell over. So, okay, like a week ago, my mom's friend said, I have a few books on my bookshelf, and why is it that every time I film a video, there's a freaking bus going by, or a truck, or a car, and they make such loud noises? Okay. Oh, God. The next six books I also did not buy. In me! <laughs> She's trying to get into a plastic bag. She's literally got her head stuck in a plastic bag. What are you doing? Get out! There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And Indy is in the bag again. I don't see a lot of kids come in here. Lots of kids I know don't like to read. And I'm like, <laughs>